I'm getting ready to pursue a lifelong goal of mine, and that is to have my own upcycling business. But I'm a little nervous, and I think it's going to be a challenge. Would you like to join me on my journey? So why am I pursuing this idea? Well, it's because I'm concerned about climate change and I bought this book, How to Prepare for Climate Change by David Pogue. And it's, it's the first time that I've kind of had some hope because when you read the news and you hear about everything going on, it's really hard to be hopeful. It, it feels like we're destroying the planet and essentially we are. And the green living movement is just, it's not really taken seriously. So. I want to leave my mark and do what I can. So I've been blogging regularly about green living and how to reduce our carbon footprint. And really it's corporations causing the biggest harm more so than individuals. And that's the other thing that frustrates me is so much of the burden is put on ordinary people when we're not the ones heating up the planet. But for a person wanting to make a difference, there are things you can do um, drive less, think about transportation, if you can take public transportation or ride your bike. Eat less meat and dairy or cut it out entirely. Um, I'm toying with the idea of just giving up beef altogether, but I want to give it a trial run first. And then consumerism is a big one because the products that we own have to be produced, which takes resources. It has to be shipped, which takes resources. And it's just a vicious cycle, which is why I believe the first step is to stop buying so much stuff. And I think that's a good place to start for an individual. holiday is New Year's Eve and I absolutely love setting New Year's resolutions and I have set 10 New Year's resolutions for 2022 to live a greener life. My first New Year's resolution is to buy less stuff. My motto for the last several years has been less stuff less problems. Because even after you buy an item, you still have to spend money maintaining it, repairing it, and everything else. And the time and energy and the resources used for products to be made and then shipped to other countries, it takes a toll on the environment. So unless it's something I absolutely need, I don't plan on buying it. I also want to learn how to recycle better. When I learned that much of what we send to the recycling center just ends up in a landfill anyways, I was devastated. So I'm going to try to come up with clever ways to recycle and repurpose items that normally wouldn't be used again. A big goal of mine is to reduce not only my spending, but also my plastic use. We rely so heavily on plastic that that one's gonna be a challenge, but I think I can do it. Of course, like with the rest of the R's, I want to reuse as many items as I can. I want to wean myself off of disposable items. So today I had to go buy a new pair of jeans because the ones I owned ripped out whenever I decided to sit Indian style in my chair. Now, I could just throw them away, but I'm trying to make a habit of repairing things instead of just discarding them and buying new. But I did need a second pair of jeans, so I went ahead and bought them. I'm currently remodeling my kitchen, so I haven't been able to cook yet. But once it's done, I definitely want to cook more and eat out less. If anything, I'll save money. And speaking of food, I want to be more mindful about the things that I eat. I know that the meat industry and the dairy industry contributes to climate change, so I would like to reduce how much meat and dairy I consume. Maybe eventually stop eating meat altogether, but I'm not, not totally sold on an entirely meatless diet. But cutting it out at least will help. I'd also like to start buying local. There's a farmer's market here in my community, so there's really no reason why I shouldn't be buying local produce. I rely heavily on my car, and the city that I live in is not very bike friendly. But I think if I ride my bike more, I'll get more comfortable on it and hopefully opt for that instead of just driving my car everywhere. And finally, my 10th New Year's resolution is to get involved in the green movement on a bigger scale. 
I want to vote, I want to get involved in the community, and I want to be a part of organizations that are striving to reduce our carbon footprint. What are your New Year's resolutions? And are you optimistic about the year 2022? I know there's a lot to be stressed and anxious about, but I'm gonna make this the year I become proactive. I hope to see you there. Thank you.